Good morning, what is up YouTube? On my way to work, it's Saturday morning and we are officially 10 weeks from the day of the Night of Champions at the Fitness Mill, the gym that I work out at. Um, pretty excited, week one's in the books and it was a pretty good week. Um, pain has been subsiding. Uh, I just have now like, sometimes in the morning a dull ache in my hips when I wake up, nothing crazy, but I expect some soreness obviously, lifting heavy weights. But all in all, a lot better than it was a couple weeks ago. Um, been focusing on making sure I stretch afterwards, uh, dynamic stretching before I work out, which I usually always do, but I've been focused on. Sometimes because of time constraints, I would skip my stretching afterwards, but I'm not letting myself do that anymore. I'm also doing a little bit more foam rolling. Um, and yeah, no, body's feeling pretty good. Uh, this week went really well. Um, I only got to train three days this week because I have a party to go to tonight for my friend's daughter, Sweet 16. I mean, you gotta do, enjoy life some. Um, the main three days are the important days. The other ones are just kind of little accessories and fun days for me. Um, and then also we had uh, my dryer burned out on set, uh, Thursday. Thursday it was. So I was all ready to go do deadlifts and then my wife says, oh no, our dryer's, you know, fried. Whatever happened, happened can't change it so I was like well we've got me her the baby who goes through plenty of clothes you know as babies do and my son who goes through plenty of clothes plus I go through gym clothes work clothes and home clothes to relax and sleep in so we really can't go without a washer or dryer for a while um, luckily we don't have her work clothes on top and then her changing into clothes to relax in at home so there's that plus, but so we went dryer shopping. Um, supposed to be showing up uh, tomorrow, from what they told me, which pretty excited. First time I ever went appliance shopping. Maybe I'm an adult now, finally. Uh, anyways, great week of training. Um, squats went were pretty smooth, felt good. I did forget my knee sleeves, but all in all, I, I'll take it. I got to 435 for two triples that was a planned goal for this week um we're gonna obviously we're starting off at about where i finished my last prep off um which is pretty good to start off there and see where we go um squats not going to be as important because i'm not doing squat at the night of champions it's only deadlift but i want to get all my lifts up still some because i still am not entirely sure where i'm at for final PRs, except for probably bench press. I'm pretty sure bench, I could probably add some weight, not as much as I can with the squat and deadlift. Um, I'm pretty sure I can get up to over 600 on squat and deadlift. Um, 555 a few weeks ago, well, now it's about a month ago, felt pretty smooth. And 585 felt pretty smooth on uh, deadlift a couple months ago, so. We're gonna see where I can get to uh, during this protocol. Um, I'm doing this prep by myself because like I said, it's only a deadlift meet. So I will be working with Lackey for the next full power meet that I do. Um, I'm, and then, yeah, no, it, I think that's gonna be probably in November or December, uh, either the Tom Brown or the Beast of New York. I might do the Beast of New York because my father will be in town for that. Uh, so it'd be pretty exciting. Who knows? Maybe if I'm feeling it, which I probably will, because I'm just a competitive guy and enjoy this. Um, might just do both. We'll see. Um, but anyways, yeah, squat session went well, even though I left my sleeves at home. Deadlift yesterday was pretty good. I tried something new, and I've probably what I'm gonna do going forward. So I use Nordic lifting, uh, Nordic lifting shoes and they have your heels slightly elevated and it helps me a lot with squats but I think I like uh, taking my shoes off when I'm deadlifting now I normally never did that but then again I've never been lifting weights like this so we're gonna probably keep this up uh, yesterday felt really smooth the bar was a lot closer even uh, one of the guys at the gym my buddy Anthony said that my form looked a lot better. He said I just need to get used to lowering my hips in that position, it looks like. So, 
these little minute details will help me etch out a little bit more every time in my lifts as we progress. Um, and bench session, like I said, normally it's not as important, but it got up to 315. Uh, my deadlifts were 435 for a couple triples as well, which may not seem crazy um, yet, but like I said, this is where I ended up at last prep, and that's where we're beginning this time, so, and we ended up crushing my goals last time, so we'll see. That's why I kind of am aiming a little higher this year. I mean, if I don't hit it, it's not the end of the world, but I don't want to undershoot again. But, yeah, it was a great week. Uh, we'll see how week two go, goes. I'll keep trying to post these every week so that you guys can uh, see how prep's going. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate the love and support. Uh, we're almost to 10,000 followers on TikTok, almost to 1,000 on Instagram. The love's been great. Love's been really surreal, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, stay active. Have a wonderful day.